Yeah, yeah, they're, 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 they're gonna listen. They're, they're gonna listen, right? Right, I, I've got some good faith in humanity. They're gonna listen to this this piece of advice, right? Ah. Uh, uh. So we've got a new PvE mode called Leapfrog, and basically it's five supercharged bucks just jumping around, doing insane amounts of damage. Today I'm gonna try and put out a guide for this new Leapfrog PvE mode. It's so frustrating at the moment because nobody really knows what to do and people are picking flankers, squishy flankers and damage dealers and supports, left, right and center, even after trying to just get them to pick something that actually works with the PvE mode. Partly I think there's a problem with the way that the PvE mode's present presented. It should be called challenge mode, not PvE mode, because it is basically these pretty hard challenges that aren't exactly that friendly to new players, or, or just generally they have a strategy to overcome them. And I think a lot of people, and I see a lot of like level 1 victors and level 1 yings jump into the game and pick up deft hands straight away, and it, you know that's fine, the new players but they probably shouldn't be playing PvE mode first off. It's not like PvE mode is the easy mode. It's actually really difficult. So it should be called challenge mode or something like that. Something along those lines. But that out of the way, what are the tactics for this mode? So first off, what are the good picks? The good picks are just tanks. So each buck can do, I think it's 2,000 damage close up when they get there. I don't know whether it's with the crit, with the net. So you'd want to be picking characters that aren't squishy and that, that can't be one shot basically. So but most flankers can't really play this mode. So you, you get hit by that their first drop, their jump, and then you get hit by a shot, you're dead. And that's the same for almost all the damage dealers as well. Basically the tankers are the mainstay for this mode. And the four that I think are most important are firstly, we have Torvald, and Torvald's ultimate can push these books off the edge and can actually win you the point. This is that's one of the things that can win you the point. Secondly, Ruckus with his repulsive field, he can basically buff all his allies with an extra damage reduction on top of Haven if you pick it up. And he can be great just standing on a point, maybe getting a kill if you can get a hook or something else or a stun, um, but generally he'll be putting out a lot of sustain and he can sustain himself as well with that shield, even though two of the books do have Wrecker, so you gotta be a bit careful about that one. Fernando generally just has mega health, so he can survive on the point and also has a shield that is pretty nifty and generally he can just stand on the point and live. The same with Makoa, he's also got quite a lot of health and also has a shield that can basically just keep you going. And also Makoa's ultimate can be some more sustain just to stay on that point. Barak, mm, he's not exactly amazing because he's a bit squishier than all of the other tanks, but, but it's always an option. The support that I think can work in this match is Grover because he has high health he basically heals in an area and you're, you're only going to be on the point anyway. And also his right click is the cleave basically stops somebody from jumping. So you could actually stop one of the books from jumping and blast that book down and then you have one less book to deal with. The next one is Bomb King. And basically because these books are jumping across the payload, often they can get caught in a grumpy bomb and stunned. And with Bomb King, you have sort of a chance to focus down one book at a time once they're stunned. So that's also an option as well. But the problem when you take out those two tanks is that you don't have as much sustain on the point. I think either four tanks and a Grover, or four tanks and a, a, a Bomb King, or five tanks can work really well in this meta. There's some tips as well for how the books act. So basically the books will be jumping across the, the point all the time. They don't really st stand around the point that often. So basically all you need to do is group up on the point and try to survive and you'll get capture point, capture point time as they jump across and they're missing you basically. Um, there's also, when you're coming up to the point, uh, it's on Frog Isle, they don't come past the walkway up to the top and then from your side where you look down from, so your raised elevated area when you're looking down, they don't normally come up there unless there's like a some sort of illusion or a, a turret or something put down on the side then one book will come around and will not maybe knock you off your horses. My advice is to use a horse and run straight down uh, in, in a line and go through the gap in the middle where the tree is and run straight onto the point. There's a lot of cover there so it's not easy to get knocked off and stopped. Otherwise it literally is just get on the point and stay there and hope and cross your fingers that you will survive. I don't honestly think it's that fun of a mode, but hey, I just wanna spread the word if you're trying to do your work weekly quest for those crystals. 
So next up we've got some items and basically the books are healing a lot. So Cauterize can be a great pickup just to stop them from being able to sustain themselves if you do get a chance to take them down. But mainly I think if you take Haven to stop basically all the damage the book is doing to you, just reducing it slightly, it just gives you that extra sustain on the point as a tank. And also Master Riding to always be able to get back onto the point. Sometimes if you have a wipe, you might be able to go in alone and jump onto that point and get those little, maybe if you're on like 70%, you might be able to get it up to 90% and then the next group will be able to get it to 100%. So sometimes if you do have to trickle and you do have to get there really fast, you can use Master Riding to get there. And also it gives the books less chance to hit you when you're running to the point. And this is especially a big thing for Ruckus because you need to be able to get your Q off so that you can reduce the damage on the point. On Torvald and Makoa, you might think about picking up morale boosts so that you've got your ultimate more often. And as I said, the Torvald ultimate, throwing the books off, and also because they're not they're not that smart, they're AI, they sometimes just jump off the edge anyway. And when you knock them, they don't jump back, they just jump, jump sideways and then they die anyway. So it is a great ultimate on Torvald, so getting that morale boost can help to get that ultimate up more often. But again, because you die so often, it is really hard to build up your ultimates in this mode and because you, it's so hard to get any sustained damage off or even be on the point for that long. When you're Ruckus, you might want to pick up some life seal because you can do a bit more sustained damage and bring some of it back, but it's not that big of a pickup. Like, it's one of the last things I pick up in this mode. Generally, go Haven and then get your mount speed or your morale boost. So anyway, it's quite simple how to pull this one off. And, and honestly, I don't think this is the best mode that we've seen so far. None of them are amazing exactly but this one is probably the most boring out of the lot of them. I think the problem is, is that this, you do have to literally go for tanks in this mode, and you, all you do is stand on the point, which is just not that fun. I'd like to just see them now, now they've got like four, I don't know, is it three or four modes now? Um, just put them all together and put them in rotation, because at least that would spice things up again. And like I said, change the name of the mode from PvE to Challenge. Maybe like in the future they could have a PV mode of waves of, of like champions that gets harder and harder. But at the moment this is literally just a challenge. It's like pretty difficult and you actually to execute a tactic to do it. And a lot of new players are playing it and they're just getting trapped in it. And it's, it is ridiculously hard for a new player who's picking up a Victor and a Ying. And I don't blame them. I'd be like, what the, what the F is this game? Why am I playing this, this trash? I just die straight away. Like, I, I think it's a bad thing for the game to have this as, like, a PV mode in exclam exclamation marks. Anyway, one big thing as well that I haven't mentioned is that I am so looking forward to a frog book skin. That would be amazing. Like, a big frog suit, like a full body suit, like pajamas. Fro frog pajamas would be amazing. Or, like, a frog tongue for book and just generally, like, a frog hat would be awesome. Hi res, please. Please, hi res. Anyway, that's my guide for the current PvE mode. Good luck, folks, and if you have still got your weekly quest up for the crystals, I hope that you get them a bit more swiftly. And, yeah, you might go through some of the frustration of people coming into the game mode and not picking a tank, but you can, like, just about do it with three tanks. And then the damage in the flank or whoever's picked in your team, like the Maeve, it's just like, well, you, you're not going to do anything, mate. You may as well just AFK in the spawn, so there we are. And uh, in one of my games, the Drogos did AFK in the spawn and just shooting at the ground. And we did win that one as it's three tanks. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, it's been helpful. Be sure to like, dislike as you see fit. And also share this with everybody that you think might play the PvE mode and might pick up Maeve. Or might pick up a damaged character or might pick up a really squishy flanker. Because you just got to whack them with a trout and give them some sense that, that you need to pick up tanks in this mode. Otherwise, there's going to be a lot of frustrated people. Finally, if you want to carry on watching my stuff, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all next time. Joshino.